Kimberly McDonald, and I'll be discussing with you procedures on how to perform a peripheral intravenous catheter insertion. Now, first you want to make sure the patient has a good understanding of the procedure. Then you want to assess the patient's arm, whether they're right-handed or left-handed. This can assure uh, comfort and mobility. Now, next you want to assess the patient's arm. You want to make sure their arm isn't hairy, too hairy. Now, if their arm is hairy, you want to trim the hair with the scissors, not using a razor. Okay, after that, you want to make sure you gather all your material that's needed and then perform hand hygiene. Part, you're going to need clean gloves. And here I have my extension set and also my saline flush. So what I did was I connected it and I'm keeping the distal portion of this uh, sterile and I'm going to set it aside until after I've completed my venipuncture. Okay, um, now you have to select the vein in which the venous access will be inserted. So you can just apply your tourniquet and look for the vein. Begin to clean the hand. You wanna go up and down vertically. Then horizontally. And then in a circular motion, beginning from inner to outer. Now you wanna gently place your thumb over the vein and gently stretch the skin against the direction of the insertion site. And ask the patient to relax his hand and let him know he might feel a quick pinch. So you wanna insert the device bevel up at a 10 to 30 degree angle. And you watch for a return in the chamber. So now you want to take the tourniquet off and advance the catheter into the vein. Make sure you place your finger here to apply pressure. And remove here. So the flash indicates that the bevel of the needle has entered the vein. So what I did was I lowered the cast into um, the vein. I advanced it about a quarter inch in the vein. And now I have to hold the skin. And what I did was stabilize the needle and I advanced the cast off of the needle until I just now have the cast. Now that I'm applying gentle pressure, I'm going to keep the cast stable and I'm going to connect the tubing into the end of the cast and I'm not going to touch the point of entry. that I'm in the vein I'm gonna pull back on the plunger I see the return okay lock your extension set and now it's time to secure it to the arm So now I have secured the tape onto the patient's hand and this is how you perform your peripheral intravenous access.